Hey guys, what's up Aries? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, for the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energy can go both ways. So this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip father how you need to. Also keep in mind this is a general reading. So take what's yours and the rest behind. This does resonate with you today. Please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. All right, Aries. Make sure you guys uh, check out the 2021 video for the year ahead. I break it down for uh, month by month. You guys have something new coming towards you, and I think it's more like sexual. Um, I think it's more of a past thing. Some type of communication. Someone is really into you. All right, Aries, media future. Yeah, definitely some type of offer coming. Could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Oh, okay. Could have been a player that you dealt with. All right, Aries, media future. See? Play a player. That's the Seven of Swords. Somebody who ghosted you, um, left you behind, or vice versa. Could have been a Taurus or a, um, a Capricorn. Like I said, an ex. Somebody you were married to had a commitment to. Something like that. For others of you, um, and I'm not going to go with this story, but I do want to tell you, um, you know, there could have been like some money issues. Like somebody kind of stealing money. <clears throat> it's about holding on to something, though. Um, we have a seven of swords, which is fire, cheater, thief, right? So somebody could have betrayed you and left you out in the cold here. Um, and it doesn't have to be recently, but that's kind of what's happening. But this is thief, and this is lack of money. So um, yeah, I just want to point that out. We're going with love, but I do want to, you know, um, and this is somebody withholding money. With the four of pentacles, the other four and the five of pentacles with a thief here. So, um, just side note, just want to throw that out there. There could have been somebody kind of withholding money, maybe on a business level or something. All right, show me the seven of swords for Aries for the immediate future. What's up with this? Yeah, see, the ace of cups. They want to start something new. They want to move forward. There's a choice in this path, um, but there is uh, someone who wants to move forward towards something new. Could be a Capricorn, could be an ex, some type of temptation here. Um, for others of you, this could be somebody like if your money's well off. Yeah, a new cycle trying to begin. So you ended this one and starting a new, another one. For some of you, um, just be mindful of greed. Because we do have the devil here. You could work with this person. Um, but they definitely want to put in the work with you. This is someone who betrayed you in the past. And i got to tell you, I'm not really loving their intentions. Show me this five of pentacles for Aries, please. This is someone feeling left out in the cold. The nine of pentacles is um, like you've been standing your ground, knowing your worth. Uh, really coming up. Um, especially like with your pinnacles, knowing your self-worth, no, you know, somebody probably took you for granted here in the past and now, um, you know, they're wanting to come in out of the cold here with the tower here. It's almost like they're going to, they want to pop up and surprise you here. Um, but you could be dealing with another air sign as well. But the fucked up part is you do have your emotional fulfillment around this, um, with the 10 of cups. So somebody is still holding on to the situation. Uh, after I go through all this with the love, I want to go back and address some of the money things because this for some of you guys could be like somebody kind of close to you and you do need to watch your money because with the King of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles, you're coming off like abundant as hell. Um, you're not broke is, is how it's coming across and somebody could be, you know, kind of, I hate to say that, but I'm just going to tell you like I see it. Um, Somebody could be eyeing your money. 
Show me those four of pentacles for our Aries, please. And it doesn't even have to be love related. Um, it's more... I mean, it can be because we have the Ace of Cups here. So it can be around the workplace or someone that you work with, like especially if you have your own business or something like that with the Eight of Pentacles or you do some type of work with, with this person. Um, you know, you're coming off really good and this person may be a little broke, so their intentions may be a little bit fucked up. Show me this Four of Pentacles for Aries. The Six of Swords. Okay. Scorpio. So there is like a change here. This is if this is love wise for you, the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, then um it's not moving. It's the sense of like uh not expressing, holding at things within, wanting to move to a calmer time. So with the Queen of Swords, you're very guarded towards this person. You're very confident because you have the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. So you're very like independent, well off on your own not taking anyone's bullshit and you're not going to take this person's bullshit is what you're kind of going towards more time of peace like more of towards a time of change so you're holding back with your emotions you're not dropping your guard for this person for others of you regarding your money there's like um but and i'm just going to go off of money because we have the eight of pentacles the nine of pentacles the queen of swords the five and four of pentacles okay so i'm going to tell you with your money, you're coming off like abundant as hell, very confident, very on your game, very on top of things. So, um, sorry, Aries. So, okay, so you're very on top of your game here. So you do have like uh, money-wise, if this is your love story, somebody cheating on you, you know, they're trying, to, they're, they're trying to move forward. They're trying to work on shit. You're not pushing it through right now. You're too guarded towards this or vice versa. For money situations, there's somebody who's like, it's coming off as a new cycle, something, you know, um, that you, you have a lot of love for. But this is also about self-love. So somebody sees you like confident, abundant as hell on your game, really uh, full of the self-love, trying to move forward, putting your heart into your work right now. So the seven of swords with the five of pentacles, this can kind of be a thief. Somebody was holding money, right? And it could be someone that you work with. Um, the king of wands can be somebody in kind of like a leadership role or something like that. Uh, somebody could kind of be, uh, um, taking money under false pretenses here through your work, kind of withholding that. This is not wanting to share the four of pentacles, um, not wanting that equal give and take. And they could be like straight moving on or vice versa. Um, this can be moving or traveling with the six of swords. So for some of you guys, really keep your eye out for your, with your money, because the queen of swords is very educated, very confident, especially with her business skills. Um, you know, and you got all this self love, self inward growth, especially around your money coming up, like starting a new business, maybe it's a partnership, something like that. Um, and things have been kind of moving forward. Watch your money. I'm just going to leave it at that. You know what I'm trying to say. If this is a person who cheated on you, you ain't having this shit right now. You're focusing on self-love. But they're going to come back around and try. So. All right, Aries. Hope this helped. Hope this resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Make sure you check out that 2021 video. And if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. All right, you guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.